I on Facebook here on Easter Sunday. Amen. Amen. The day man has set aside on the calendar. Amen. That the true Savior has risen. Yeah. Amen. Somebody ought to be glad about that. Amen. That he has risen and we glorify and magnify his name. Yes. We yes. wanted to move uh, time up a little bit. Amen. We usually start at four o'clock and we know that's when you are used to us. Amen. But we wanted to come before you at an earlier time. Amen. So that you would be able amen, to enjoy your families. Amen. And because this is Easter. Amen. We want to give him first fruits right away. Amen. We want to praise him and magnify him. Amen. His glorious name. Let us just pray before we even do anything. In your name, Jesus, we are thankful. Amen. We celebrate you on today. We give you all glory and adoration due your name. Lord God, we love you, Lord. We thank you, Lord God, for waking us up closed within our right mind and allowing us to see a day that we were not promised to see, but you blessed us nonetheless. And we are so glad and thankful in our hearts. We touch right now and agree with you. Lord God, touch each and every person that is viewing this web. Amen. Let them receive something from you. Let them receive a special anointing. Lord God, bless Apostolic Deliverance Temple right now. We thank you for them. Amen. We want to uplift you right now. Bless each and every one of them. Amen. As we present ourselves to you over and over again, Lord, we want you to be glorified and we want the devil to be horrified. In the name of Jesus, we give you all glory. Praise do your name. Somebody clap those hands. Amen. And shout out hallelujah. In the hallelujah, name of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, Amen. We are so glad again to be coming before you. Amen. We wanted to give you this Sunday message on today. Amen. We just know that this is the day set aside that he has risen. Amen. And that's all. That's enough to be celebrating for right then and there. Amen. Amen. That he has risen. Amen. He rose again on day three. I've been posting that on my Facebook page each and every hour and different. You'll see the pictures change differently. And I've been waiting for Sunday morning came because when Sunday morning came, you'll see the stone is rolled away. Yes, the guards yes, are gone yes. because he is risen. I even put a little sign on there said it's showtime. Yes, it's time Jesus. now, amen. It's time for him to be risen, amen. So get up, tell somebody we on. Hit them, tag them, text them. Let them know the word of God is coming and we bless him on today, amen. If you would with us, turn with us to the book of Mark chapter 16. And as well, uh, the book of Luke, amen, chapter 24, hallelujah. <clears throat> gospel according to St. Mark and the gospel according to St. Luke. We understand the four gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Amen. One thing we always like to indicate for, for, for everyone to know, Bible students know it as well, but those that don't, amen. Each of the four depict him in a different manner. Amen. Matthew illustrates him as the king. That's why his lineage traces back to David. Mark infiltrating in, in, in he clicks him as the servant, amen, servant all throughout Mark. You can read and hear of him ministering, him serving, him working. Luke divides him and brings him all the way back to man, making it the book of man, amen. He, he digs him all the way back through lineage, back to Adam. And then John, glory be to Jesus. Yes, John yes, brings yes, it all together yes, yes. and depicts him as who he is. And that is the true and living God himself yes, Jesus. manifested Hallelujah, in the flesh. Jesus. Amen. Now, right with us, amen, as we said, Mark 16 and Luke 24. Amen. We're going to start with Mark 16. Amen. Mark 16, uh, starting at verse 13, we find these words, and they went and told it unto the residue, neither believed they them. Afterward, he appeared unto the eleven as they sat at meat and upbraided them with their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they believed not them which had seen him after he was risen. Verse 15, and he said unto them, Go ye into all the world 
preach the gospel to every creature. And, the, and he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. And he that believeth not shall be damned. These signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus. They shall take up serpents. Yes. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. Yes, they Jesus. shall lay hands on the sick. Yes, and Jesus. they shall recover. Amen. Jesus. Now let us go uh, over to Luke. Luke 24, and let's go down to verse 4, hallelujah. Amen. Find these words, it says, And it came to pass, as they were much perplexed thereabout, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. And as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth, they said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? He is not here, but he is risen. Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee, saying, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and the third day rise again. May the Lord have a blessing to the reading and hearing doers of his word. Amen. If you would, you want to write it down, jot it down. Amen. Text somebody, tell them. Amen. Today, we're just going to bring you a quick topic just entitled, It's Day Three. Well, all right, Jesus. It's Day Three. Tell somebody, it's Day Three. And just to give you a little synop on it, amen, just say, let's go. It's Day Three. Let's go. Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Jesus. One thing I like to illustrate, and I, and I oftentimes have said this, amen, as, as I uh, was a coach before, I coached basketball, and as a coach, you, you actually realize uh, every aspect of the game, the essence of the game, especially if you're behind and your team is not in tune to actually what's going on, amen, you kind of want to get them uh, on the page so that they are always aware of what's happening on the court and every aspect of the game. Even though you, prep you, you prepare them, you put them in perfect preparation for every aspect of the game and so that they are informed and that they know everything, what to expect in the game, how to act in the game, and what they should be doing. So in other words, you want them to be well informed. So that there is no, there's, there's no stagnant, there's no way for them to uh, fall short or anything. Yes, Whatever yes, happens, yes, yes. you want them to be ready to act at every turn of events of the game. Amen. Some people I say you, you want them to be reactive. Amen. You want them to react. React means I'm on defense. Amen. But let's take it a step further. I want you to be able to act whenever it happens. Amen. When you act. You already are aware, you already know, and you are prepared to go about doing what it is you need to do. In the Bible here, we have found in the book, we'll start with St. Luke, amen. St. Luke brings it to us very yes, vividly, yes, yes. Come amen. On, we're looking here and it says that, at, and it came to pass as they were perplexed thereabout. Amen. So in other words, they were in a state of bewilderness. Uh, they were surprised at what was going on. Yes, amen. Yes. We understand and know throughout this story of the Easter story. Amen. You have to sit here and reverence and understand that Jesus took them through those three years of his ministry. He walked with them and talked with them, preparing them for what would happen when certain things happened. He was giving them insight. He was giving them foresight so that you would know how to uh, uh, act, amen, so that you would know what to do, so yes, that you would yes, know what yes, to say, yes. amen. He wanted them to be pre really prepared, yes, amen, Jesus. for whatever happened, but he also informed them on what was going to happen, so it was not like a thing that they should have been uh, uh, surprised at any hand. He prepared them 
for the situation. In other words, yes, he told yes. them, you know, I'm going through this with you, but I'm not going to be with you always. Amen. There's going to come a time that I'm not with you. There's going to come a time where you, 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 you're not, I'm not going to be with you. You're going to have to handle these yes, things. Yes. And I'm preparing you so that you can do what it is that I have trained you to do. So we had a point here in the yes, scripture yes, where yes. they are perplexed because they're at a bewildered state, amen. And then they, they don't know what to do. They don't know how to react. Now, naturally, they felt touched because, amen, their savior, their master, their, their, their friend, yes. their, their keeper, he was not with them anymore. He died, amen. In the natural sense, when someone dies, you have a feeling about it. You feel a certain way. So we can always understand how they felt. But nonetheless, this is what he was telling them. Amen. I'm not going to be with you always. Yes, the son of man yes. has to leave. Amen. But let me prepare you. Let me get you ready for what you need to be doing. Yes, Amen. We Jesus. can even go back and understand that Peter even denied him a few times saying, no, that's not going to happen. Amen. And he had to rebuke him one time and said, look here, get thee behind me. Amen. Yes, I've got to Jesus. do this thing. Jesus. But while I'm doing this, I'm trying to prepare you for what's going to happen. I'm trying yes, to prepare yes, you to yes. be able to handle the situation. So here we are at uh, the sepulcher. Amen. And St. Luke describes it and they are here and then they see something that startles them. Yes. Amen. They're, they're, they're surprised at it. Amen. Uh, and, and now with the people that are at the sepulchre right now, we understand is the first ones being Mary and Martha. Amen. Now they are surprised. Amen. They are uh, first one thing they were wondering how are we even going to get there because who's going to roll the stone away? Amen. But then upon them approaching it, they see that the stone is removed. And now they're in a surprise place and they don't know what to do. They don't know how to handle it. Amen. That is why they, the, the, the reply, uh, amen, from the angel was right there. And he says, why? He asked them a simple question. Yes, and it's a very yes. relevant question. Why seek ye the living among the dead? Amen. This is not the place that you're supposed to look for a dead, a live person. Amen. You don't go to the cemetery to look for a live person. Uh, in other words, let me tell you to you, bring it to you like this. You don't go to a church looking for a dead person. Come on, somebody. Yeah, come Amen. On, but you are going looking for the living. Yeah, Amen. Yeah, you are yeah, looking yeah, for the yeah. true and living God. I he told you from time past. This is going to happen. But not only did he tell you I'm going to die, but he also told you in three days I'm going to get up. So here yes, it is. Yes, you're Jesus. looking for me in a dead place and you're looking for me to be dead. Amen. Something is wrong with the picture. So he goes on and tells them, amen, amen, as they were afraid, down, they had their, their, their faces and their heads bowed down to the earth said unto them, why seek ye among the dead? Why ye seek the living among the dead? He's not here, but he is risen. Remember, yes, in other yes. words, he's reminding them, remember, he spake to you yet when he was in Galilee. He told you, amen, that the Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men, but he will be crucified, and then after the crucifixion, Third day, you're going to see him again. He's yes, going to rise yes, again. Yes. So I don't know why you came here looking for a living person. Amen. Be not afraid. Let me get you on point right here. See, we have to understand this thing. He already prepared them. He told them, not just the 11, not just the 12 disciples. He told Martha and, and, and Mary as well. Remember, amen. He even declared it to them. And they spoke it even at the grave of Lazarus. I already know. Amen. But oftentimes, things happen and it makes our mind go back and we forget things. Come on yes, somebody. Yes, amen. Jesus. But this is just a reminder right here that yes, he comes Jesus. and tells them amen. Be not afraid. Look here. You're looking for the living amongst the dead. You're looking for the right person. You're just looking for him in the wrong place. Yes, You're just Jesus. looking for him in a place that he isn't going to be because he already declared it to you. Yes, amen. Jesus. Now let us go and we find so much into the book of Mark. We come to this point, amen, if you would say it in this way. Mark brings it to a point where Mark has it positioned at a place where he, Jesus is having a sidebar with the twelve, with the 11, amen. And he has to come and he's got to put some things in order, amen. In other yeah, words, yeah, what does yeah. he mean he's putting some things in order? Let us go back into Mark where we were at. 
He comes and he just brings it right to him. There's a word that you got to understand here. It says upbraided. Amen. Let's take it right back from 13. And they went and told it unto the residue, the residue, the 11 that still remained. Yeah, neither yeah, neither yeah. believed they them. They went telling folk that it would happen. It has happened. He's here. But his own, his closest compadres, his closest ones, the 11, they didn't even uh, believe it. That's yeah, a marvelous see. thing right there. Why? Because he, those the people that walked with him in those three years, that talked with him, that ministered, that, that he taught to minister. Amen. He gave them the word. But oftentimes, even when you go back, you remember that when he was with them, he also always had to remind them from time to time, look here, you're not always going to be with me. Look here. This is what it is. In other words, yeah, let me Jesus. give it to you like this. There were times when he would tell parables and there were times he was speaking to the multitude. But notice strategically, after he got through speaking to them, it says, and the kingdom will be likened unto. Or in other words, let it, it, it breaks down a little bit differently like this. This is him putting a part where he's talking to the multitude, but the multitude, they only going to catch it this way. So let me tell you, my disciples, y'all going to get it a little bit closer yeah, when I yeah. it this way. So he would remind them and tell them the same story that he told them. He just give it to them in a real way. But here we are right here at this place where they cannot understand. Amen. They're not believing. Someone has told them what was going to happen. Amen. He walked with them. He talked with them. And yes, so in other words, Jesus. I prepared you. I told you. I taught you. Amen. Someone has come to you and witnessed to you. But still, here you are. Amen. Here, here you are. You don't know what's going on. You're, you're at a stagnant place. Lord God, somebody got to help us. Amen. We, the people, the church of the living God, we got to get out of this stagnant place. Amen. This stagnant, this stagnant that we are in. That's where he comes. Amen. Verse 14. Afterward, he appeared unto the eleven as they sat at meat and upbraided them with their unbelief and hardness of heart because they believed not them which had seen him after he was risen. So in other words, I got to have a sidebar with y'all. Listen here and understand. I, I Y'all the same people that I walked with. I talked with. I told you this was going to happen. I told you that I wasn't going to be with you. But I also gave you ex explicit instruction. I also gave you information on how to handle the situation. I told you, amen, be of good cheer. Though I'm not with you, amen, you can still go yes. on and do this. You're still going to be able to do these things, but they were still stuck because in their fleshly feeling, amen, he's not with us. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Amen. We have to understand he's given them information, but they're at a standstill. So after he gets through telling them, after he gets through kind of bringing them up to par, getting their minds back on track, Amen. In other words, he had a time out in the game and said, hold on, let me get y'all regrouped. Let me get y'all to understand what the process is here. Amen. We're supposed to be on top. I expect y'all to be doing A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Amen. Now let's come down, amen, into verse 15. This is where A, B, C, D, E, F, G begins to play. Amen. He says unto them, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. Verse 17. And these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. In my name. Not in nobody else's name. In my name. Because in my name holds all power. In my name they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Well, church of the living God, let me tell you on today, it's day three. Yeah. And he has risen, amen. He's already given us the information on what to do. Why seek ye the living amongst the dead? Let not your heart be troubled. Do you believe in God? He has risen. He is raised from the dead. And since he's raised from the dead, somebody ought to be rejoicing right now. I don't care if yes, you're in the room. I don't care if you're in the living room. I don't care if you're in the kitchen. Somebody ought to break out and give him praise right now. Because it's day three. It's day three. 
Let me encourage you with that. It's day three. Let's go. Amen. Come on, somebody. Yes, let's go. Jesus. What we're saying in that, usually when I would coach basketball, you know you'd say, let's go, because you're trying to get your team alert to what's going on. Look here. Amen. Y'all been stagnant for long enough, and the clock is not on our side. Amen. Let's bring it into our sense right here. The clock ain't on our side. Time is winding up. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. God, and he has risen, but why are we stagnant? Why are we still complex? Why are we still sitting down waiting on something, amen? It's time for you to activate that which is down inside of you. You don't have a dead God living in you. If you got the power of the Holy Ghost, and it dwells in your soul, then that means it is active, it is living, because a, a true and living God don't give you dead power. He has given you power of the Holy Ghost. That means you are living, and we serve a living God. Today, it's day three. Clap those hands. Give him praise. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. It's day three. It's day three. So let me encourage you. It's day three. Amen. Everything that's going on with us, it's day three. I'm so excited. I'm so glad. Amen. This is Easter Sunday. Amen. He has risen. Amen. I know there's a lot going on. Amen. But I'm ready to keep moving. Amen. Somebody else got to be ready to keep going. Come on. Let's yes, go. Jesus. Amen. It's day three. Why are you sad? It's day three. Yes. Why are you down? It's day three. Why is your head cast down? It's day three. The devil might have been taking you through whatever he took you through, but it's day three and he's living right now. So lift up your head, oh ye gates, amen. Come on, be ye lifted, the everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in, amen. The true and living king of glory. The Lord God strong and mighty. The Lord God is mighty in battle, amen. Yeah. He's risen, praise the Lord. He's risen today. Let me encourage you just a little bit more, even on this aspect, because we're going through certain things even on today. Amen. In this day and age. Amen. We know that has been barked on us. Amen. The pandemic that everyone is talking about. Don't get me wrong. We are not insensitive to what is going on. We are very sensitive to it. Amen. We understand the precautions that have to take place. But church of the living God, come on. Let me encourage you and remind you it's day three. Amen. Not just today, but it's been day three for a long time. Let's go church of the living God. It's day three. We can't sit back and sit back and not have some active to us. We've got to start acting. We've got to start getting on this thing. Amen. Remember in your Bible and in history. Amen. So many things have come against the people of God. Amen. The devil has even got the audacity and the gall to even put this at the doorstep of God's people. Amen. But let me give you a back check on everything that he has tried to come against us with. It's been leprosy. It didn't work. It's been polio. It didn't work. Tuberculosis. It don't work. High blood pressure. It don't work. Cancer. It don't work. HIV AIDS. It don't work. Drugs and alcohol. It don't work. And even now today, COVID-19, but I serve a God. It still don't work. Amen. It's day three. Come on, somebody. It's day three. It's time for the church of the living God to wake up. Come on. You got to wake yourself up. You got to shake yourself. Wake yourself. Let's go. Let me give you this analogy before we get out of here. Amen. Let's think back. Amen. Into the Bible. Amen. Even when Jesus was in the garden. Amen. And he's praying. He comes back at a time and sees, amen, the disciples sleeping. Amen. This is very strategic. You got to watch this one. Amen. He comes back into the garden as he's praying and he finds them sleeping. And he comes and says, wake up. Wake up, amen. You got to wake up, amen. Least ye fall, he look who he tells it to. Peter, least ye fall into temptation. This is in the garden, into temptation. I don't want you to fall into temptation. You got to wake up. There's a, there is an analogy here. Take your mind back to Genesis. When he's talking, amen, when God is referring to Adam and Eve, amen. We understand the fall of man, Adam and Eve in the garden, amen. And how Satan 
tempted Eve, amen. But where was it? It was in the garden. She was tempted, amen. And notice, amen, here. Now we're back here in the time with Jesus, amen. And he's in the garden. He gives those very same words to Eve, amen. Wake up to, to Peter, amen. Wake up, amen. So in other words, you're in the place of temptation, the garden. Amen. You're in the place where this happened before. The garden, amen. Where temptation started, amen. And now here you are. Wake up so that you don't fall into temptation. You need to tell somebody this morning. Wake up, amen. We're being tempted. Wake up, amen. We're being tempted to fall. But you got to understand the scripture has already been declared to you as we read it. Amen. Verse 17, amen. And these signs shall follow them. They are, we are in day, night, day, night. So we're in day three and we have COVID-19 on our hands but encourage yourself these signs shall follow them that believe in my name shall cast out devils they shall speak with new tongues amen I don't care if it's tuberculosis I don't care if it's COVID-19 I don't care if it's HIV AIDS church of the living God amen it's day three let's go clap those hands it's day three let's go you shall lay hands on the sick you shall recover the dead why it's day three he's risen and we have all power let's go amen it's day three it's time for us to understand it's day three it's day three. Why are you sitting down? It's day three. Why are we downtrodden? It's day three. Why is my soul disquieted within me? It's day three. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy, it's day three. It's day three. Let's go, somebody. Clap those hands. It's day three. Speak to yourself right now. Whatever your situation is, tell yourself, it's day three. He has risen, and he told us this would happen. But he also gave us information on how to handle it. He also prepared us for the situation. Now, since we are here at day three, yeah. let's go. Get yourself up. Believe in the God that you serve and know that he is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we ask or think. It's day three. Jesus. We encourage you on today. It's day three. I don't care what the obstacle is that has been your way in your way. Amen. I don't care what it is. I'm even speaking in the ADT right now. Apostolic Deliverance Temple Church. Amen. Trials on every hand. Amen. But let yourself know it's day three. He has risen and he has given me the information on how to handle and how to proceed on further. Amen. It's day three. Let's go. Tell somebody you need that song. You can text, put it on your Facebook heading. It's day three. Yes. Let's go. Come on, Jesus. Come on. It's day three. Let's go, Let's Jesus. Go. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. Amen, amen. We just wanted to give you some insight on today. It's day three. Amen. It's day three. Tell somebody, tell yourself, it's day three. It's day three. So what happens in day three? He got up with all power. Jesus. And says, I told you this was going to happen. Yes. But know that I told you that was going to happen. I also told you what to do. Jesus. So he goes and says, now, go ye to all the land. Yes. Preach the gospel. Yes. Heal the sick. Yes. Raise the dead. Now it's your turn to do it. Amen. Go ahead on. Let's go. That's the recap. Let's go. Yes. It's day three. I done got up. What y'all still sitting here waiting for? Yes. Let's go. Amen. Tell somebody, let's go. Jesus. It's day three. God bless you. May God be with you. Amen. Amen. May the sweet Holy Spirit 
Rest, rule, abide with you now and forever. Before we go here, amen, we want you to know, amen, you can always support us, support this ministry, amen, in your giving, amen. We certainly appreciate our viewers. We certainly appreciate members, those of you that have caught in with us, amen. But you also have an opportunity to sow seed into the ministry, amen, into the building of the kingdom of God, amen, by offering, amen. You can always find us, amen, on Givelify, amen, Apostolic Deliverance Temple Church, our emblem, and then you can also find us on Cash App, amen, with our, uh, with our, with our, uh, our, our insignia right there as well, amen. So always be encouraged and meet that as well. Give, amen, as the Lord freely has given unto you or lays upon your heart, touches you, amen, to bless this ministry. Because we're going to continue on in the name of Jesus. Yes, amen. yes, and yes. And keep preaching the gospel. Keep preaching the word, the true, the, the unadulterated word of God. And yes, be encouraged. Jesus. It's day three. Yes, let's go, let's go, let's go, Jesus. It's day three. Yes, let's go. Jesus. I'm glad. I'm excited. Amen. Because he has risen. Jesus. Amen. With all power in his hand. Amen. We had Amen. Sacrament in our sacrificial communion service. Amen. And God moved in that. Amen. Taking of the body, taking of the blood, foot washing. Amen. God blessed. Amen. And here it is, day three. Amen. We know that he was going to be delivered into the hands of sinful men. But sinful men couldn't keep him down. Woo, amen. Jesus. No grave could keep him down. But before he even went through that stage, he gave each and every one of them, amen, information on what to do. Amen. This is how you're going to continue on. Now I'm giving it to you to keep going. Amen. And here we are. It's day three. Amen. Let's go. Why are we standing here? Why are we sitting here? It's day three. Amen. It's day three. God bless yes. you. Amen. We send that word to everybody under the sound of our voices listening. I don't care where you might be. Arkansas, Texas, amen. California, amen. The East Coast, it's day three. Yes. Amen. Lay Jesus. hands on the sick and you shall be recovered. Hallelujah. You shall Jesus. be healed. Why? Because it's day three. Let's go. God bless you.